My name is Corinne Thompson, nationally ranked pentathlete and video production for the Memphis Grizzlies, and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, you up next. Keep the wins on hard. Rise the star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break the sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flesh. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and are your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Shit. SLT Nation. We are back in the building for another legendary episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next, a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. And 2022 has been amazing. So amazing. We are bringing you something new today. We are breaking You Got Next ground, making history with the first ever pentathlon athlete stopping by. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the smile from Atlanta, Georgia. That's right. We switched straight to the A with this one. We got Corinne Thompson in the building. How you doing, Corinne? I'm doing pretty good. What's good, y'all? Nah, y'all are about to love this young lady. We had opportunity to chop it up with her backstage. The energy is infectious. The vibe is amazing. So we about to get lit. Yo, I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, the Louisiana Mr. Yeet himself. I'm rocking alongside of my co-host, my colleague, my brother from another mother, the head coach, KT. Kev, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling like I just need to be professional for this show for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm just going to, you know, tighten up my hoodie a little bit, man, and let's rock it. <sighs> well, you know what? Tighten up. You do. You know what? Before we get started, man, I got to ask you. How, how, Go how did you how did you find Korean, bro? I mean, like, dude, you've been bringing some bangers with a pentathlon athlete, dog. That's I mean, what we're... I'm saying. I don't yeah. even know how y'all found me, honestly. And, and, and then she kicking with the Grizzlies, too, KT. I mean, like, this, this, is a, this is the best of both worlds album right here. Well, B. Jones, wherever I go, dopeness follows. So she's dope. So we're going to rock it, man. All right, I jumped on Twitter, by the way. She was on Twitter. It was a post. I clicked on her uh, profile. I was like, mm, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I was she has about to be to say, on You Got Next. Yeah. I was about to say thank you for not answering the question for America, KT. But you did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. If this is your first time stopping by our channel and showing us some love, we so so much appreciated it's hard work to do what we do and we want to keep delivering you these amazing stories of, of people who are amazing human beings accomplishing big dreams and going after and doing big things and so like we can't do it without you so we got to break that algorithm we are this close i mean we are at the precipice of 1,000 YouTube followers. The growth over the last two years have been amazing and we couldn't do it without you. So we gotta ask Atlanta Georgia, we gotta ask all you Memphis Grizzly fans, we gotta ask y'all to show us some love. One more game, it won't cost you a dollar. All it's gonna cost you is to not be selfish and smash that subscribe button on the count of three. Korean, your people ready? Y'all locked in? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. One, two, three, boom. Oh. I get the chills over me every time we do that part of the show, KT. But I'm going to tell you what, if you did smash that subscribe button, thank you again. I cannot tell you thank you enough how much it means to us. Like, this is like love and currency all in one. But if you did do that, we got over 100 episodes of season one you got next with stories of content creators, actors, athletes, coaches. It don't matter. Go check it out because there's something in there for everyone. And season two is already cracking, as you can see today. So let's get it moving forward. Let's go, KT. Corinne, are you ready for the Sports Life Talks initiation? I don't think I've ever been more ready, y'all. Bring it on. Let's go. Hold up now. All right, CT. To initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. All right, y'all. So I, I listen to all sorts of music, all right? But I'd say my top five, I rock the most with Doja Cat. Nicki Minaj. I like me some Leon. Who? And Leon. Okay. She's kind of she's kind of indie. She's kind of indie. All right. And then I also I rock with Co Wetzel. 
And I like oh, Morgan wow. Wallen too. I like a little little country thrown in there. A little bit of everything, y'all. Who's the country person? I missed it. I'm sorry. Co Wessel, Morgan Wallen. I like them both. We, we've actually had somebody say Morgan Wallace. So yeah? I, I will, yeah, you, you're the second person that said Morgan, but Coaxel, and I can't even pronounce the other one. What, what, what was it? Leon, yep. Leon. L -E -O -N. You, got to, you got to have to slide. Hey, send us some sh some tracks from them, okay? All right, I will, So we, yeah, can, we can check them out, because I, 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 I've never heard of those. Definitely two brand new ones to the show. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You're welcome. And we need that, B. Jones. We need to expand yeah. our musical taste. So we diversify. Really we got to yeah, diversify. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. All right. So give us your favorite sports teams. I mean, y'all know I'm an Atlanta native. Those Atlanta Braves are my boys. Those are my ride or die. Uh, I grew up a Georgia Bulldogs fan, so it's been a good year for us. I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you riding high right now. <laughs> I am, for sure. Um, I grew up an Atlanta Hawks fan. However, my allegiance right now is to the Grizz, Memphis Grizzlies. Mm. So, and for anybody that's thinking that she just jumped on the bandwagon, go to her Instagram. Atlanta, she's Atlanta all the way through. So we're not gonna let them talk right. about it, UCT. All right. So who is your favorite superhero and why? All right, y'all. My favorite superhero. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Honestly, like I'm a big Marvel fan, so like that's that's tough. I gotta go with Thor. Honestly, Ooh, that's I gotta go with one. Thor. I don't think anybody's think, ever said Thor. I think he's so cool. Um, his movies are fantastic. Like, there's nobody really out there like Thor. He's not really like a superhero. He's got like powers, all this crazy stuff. He just does so many crazy things. I think it's, I think it's great. So, what do you think about Natalie Portman playing the female Thor in the upcoming Thor? Was it Love and something movie? Yeah, Love and Thunder. Yeah, Love and I'm Thunder. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued what because you, you know. Natalie Portman is gonna become Thor, like a Thor-like oh, character. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be the apparently. female Thor. Cause, cause wasn't wasn't that his love interest in like Thor one and two? The yeah, one, when it first. Yeah, Jane Foster. Yeah. I think her name was Jane Foster. So now she's yeah, she's I about to become right. a superhero. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Well, you know, y'all heard like, it first on this show, like me. I don't know if you already knew. Well, Marvel's now been you know. messing around with all this like different worlds and like the multiverse and all this like literally crazy stuff. So. I really think anything can happen in the next couple of movies. Like it's been wild. It's been wild. Okay, Jane Foster. Since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Hmm. So lately, the song that's been getting me hype in the gym is Chun Li by Nicki Minaj. That's been that's been my go to. If I, I run to that, I lift to that. That's that's been like my walk up song. That's got me feeling it. Uh -huh. That's a good one to go through. Okay, so let me ask you one more that I didn't mention earlier. All right. What are like your go-to kicks to rock? Hmm. I'm an Air Force One gal. I got like five different pairs. I like the fun ones. I'm not like a regular like white pair, you know, like you usually see yes. the girls yeah. rocking like a dirty white pair. No, we ain't into that. I got like a pair of like reflective ones, baby blue ones that I wear on Grizzlies games. Like I like the spreads. I like Yo, this spread. I'm an Air Force One gal. CT, check this out. I hate to do a shameless plug right now, but every every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook. And we Twitter. Do, we, Don't forget Twitter. And Twitter. And Twitter. We do a live show. Part of that live show, as you can see behind me, I'm a sneaker here. I'm, I'm a sneaker fanatic. Yeah. I, do a, I do a part of the show. We dedicate about four or five minutes. It's called The Drop. And this week, this upcoming week, which of course, it is, it'll be hindsight, so people have to go back in time and go and see this episode, but I'm going to release some Air Force Ones because I agree with you. It's, it's a, it is a shoe that is so versatile. So last week I did yeah. dunks. Last week I did some dunks. This week I'm going to do the eight Air Force Ones. I'm trying to put people on game. and I'm, It's so cool to hear somebody who like, hey, Air Force Ones. You yeah. Because, you know, I came up. I don't know if you heard that Nelly song. I get the stomping in my Air Force One. Yeah. Have you heard that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, B. Jones, I think it's safe to say that CT is in the family. But before we move on, make sure you leave in the comments. Do you like her top five? Do you agree that Thor is like the... Hold up. You like Thor because of the way he looks. Hold up. Now I just realized that. It's <laughs> because of the way he looked, is it? I mean, y'all, that's a plus. <laughs> okay. Well, with that said, B. Jones, <laughs> he's in the family. So take it away, man. 
Get, get it how you live, CT. Are you with me? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, listen, we so glad to have, have you on the show. Like I told y'all, her energy is crazy, crazy, crazy. I can only man. I kind of want to go chill with you at one of these Grizzlies games. I know you be lit. Probably got a, what you got? You drinking a bill? What you, what you, what, what's in your cup, CT, at, at, at a Grizzlies game? Uh, depends on if I'm on the clock or not, y'all. Uh, okay, my bad. I'm kidding. <laughs> your, 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 your employers, your employers are watching this episode. Yeah. We got we got to be careful with that. But now you come from from the ATL area, right? Mm -hmm. So tell yeah. tell us what it was a little bit of like, you know, growing up for you out there in Atlanta, or hour outside of Atlanta. Yeah, so I grew up about an hour north of Atlanta, um, Atlanta suburb, if you will. Uh, it was pretty chill. It was very, it was relatively rural. Um, I uh, graduated at a pretty big high school. Um, it was an area that like expanded because you know Atlanta, Atlanta is huge within itself, and it's like expanding like crazy. So, I mean, I felt like within five years we went from having like one grocery store to like seven. So it was yeah. kind of cool, like growing up because it was a little bit rural, kind of had that little bit of like small town feel, but at the same time, you know. Um, I had access to like everything that I needed to be successful. I could play whatever sport I wanted. Um, I was, like I said, I went to a pretty big high school. So it was a cool environment. Um, I love where I grew up. Um, I'm one that I want to go out and explore new things. So as soon as I graduated college, I was like, see you, bye. But <laughs> I still hold <laughs> so much like love and respect for my hometown. And I love being from Atlanta. Like I'm very, I'm very prideful of that. I think Georgia is an amazing place. So. I'm going to tell you, I, I didn't know much about Georgia growing up. I'm from Louisiana. But when the Olympics came, like in 96, it was like Atlanta was it. It was the creme de la croix. I, 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 I was like, that's a dope city. And then, of course, if you go even back further, they had this thing called Fricknick. They used to be out there in uh, in Atlanta. We'll, we'll talk about that out, off our career. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll yeah. tell you a little, <laughs> we'll tell you a little bit about that. So, but 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 let's 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 talk about the the elephant in the room right now. This is the first time we've ever had a pentathlon athlete. We're gonna we're gonna talk about how you got with the Grizzlies and all that in a second. Okay, okay, okay. I, you got to put me on game right now because you just said you had access to all of these sports, but a pentathlon in in that like ten or twelve. I'm like, how many sports? <laughs> like that's every sport. <laughs> Tell us about what is a pentathlon. So a pentathlon is five sports. Oh, five. It okay. Is, it's five. Um, I don't know if y'all research this or not. If you haven't, you're about to think that I am nuts. No, you're about I, to think I that didn't. I'm literally I crazy. Didn't. I said I'm gonna let her tell the fans, and I'm gonna let <laughs> you're her about put to think me on I'm game. nuts. So it's running, swimming, fencing, horse jumping, and pistol shooting. And those are the five sports. That I told so, so I basically, told so basically, you go from the pentathlon to the CIA, right? Because you, <laughs> you, you're about to be oh overseas, like being a spy. That, that's like spy games, right there. You shooting, <laughs> swimming, running. Wow. Jumping it's horses. so funny that you say that because like that's what kind of like where it comes from is like you're the best like cavalry soldier like you are the soldier like kind of that's where it comes from like that ancient really? Greek like yeah really really that's, which that's one, what, like, out of those five of out of those five which one are your favorite my favorite definitely the horse jumping um I've got horses I grew up riding horses um from like middle school all through high school and everything um but I'm relatively strong runner too. I like I said, I grew up a runner and played all sorts of sports. So I think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> a little yeah, crazy. I mean, it so sounds fun for you, but it, it, yeah, all the guys out there who slide in the DM, y'all heard her. She she can shoot a gun with <laughs> ease and accuracy. So how did you fall into pentathlon? I mean, like that's just not normal. Like uh, I don't have many conversations with people saying like, hey, I, I participate in pentathlons. I've I've heard of triathlon, right? Yeah. Or they Ironman and stuff like that, but not not the pentathlon. So how how did you fall in that category? So like I said, I've got horses, and the place where I boarded my horses back at home in Georgia. Um, it was taken over by a new facility, and uh, one of the people who rode at that facility was actually the Southeastern National coach who lived in Atlanta. And when he found out that I had a history of horse jumping, had a history of running, and had a history of swimming, which is three of the five sports, yep. he was like, why don't you just come try this out? And I ended up being pretty decent at it. Well, I'm going to tell you something. You you being modest, you pretty decent, but I don't know. I read in the bio that you kind of creeping up on the top ten in the nation, right? I mean, have you have you cracked the top ten yet? 
this year I did. Wow. So I it's did. only so this it's, it's only did. a handful of folks out there that can do work with you when it comes yeah. to this this pentathlon. Now now the gun is not what I'm scared of. It's the it's the fencing. Like that's that sport is crazy. So you wear a full mask and you you, yeah. you doing your thing? Yeah, that sport is wild. That is the one sport that I literally had no knowledge of whatsoever coming into pentathlon. I had uh, to start from the ground up and it honestly is a lot more fun than I expected it to be. I don't know if it's like just an anger release kind of thing. I can just go and start like stabbing people, um, but it is really cool. I think I like it. It's very technical. Like it's a very like like classical sport. You know what I mean? Like you got the whole getup and you got the swords and everything. So I think it's cool because that's you know I rode um, a type of discipline called dressage. And it's very similar where it's a very like technical type of sport. So I think that appeals to that part of my brain a lot. And I just found it a lot. I found it really fun. Like I even uh, participate in like a few tournaments here and there just to keep like my fencing skills up and just try to get better like that. But it might be something that I honestly might keep up just when I retire from a Tathlon because it's such an interesting thing. Man, so so would you go around and tell little girls everywhere in America like, hey, y'all need to try this pentathlon out? Like, are you are you an advocate for this pentathlon? Definitely, definitely. I encourage anybody who wants to try it to try it. Um, it does. It is a lot of traveling. Um, there's not really a lot of places that like participate in them because there really is only maybe like a hundred or so athletes in the United States. There really is just not that many because. I mean, who has time to do all five of those sports? You know what I mean? It's not like you can go, yeah, exactly. It's not like you can go like, oh yeah, I'm on my high school pentathlon team. Like that's, you know what I mean? You you usually play basketball, you play softball, you know, baseball, anything like that. Really just anything but pentathlon. And so usually like people will come into the sport as a equestrian or as a fencer. Like that's usually just the routes. And I don't really know why that is but usually it's like people either come from a horse jumping background or a fencing background because those are just kind of like the two most like niche of the five sports like everybody knows how to run right right. most people most people i would say most people know how to at least swim whether it's technically sound or not they know how to swim yeah so yeah i i I, I fall into that latter category but look so so so, but you did more than just fantastic so coming up you actually played in lacrosse i i I thought that was pretty interesting so you've done all the sports basketball lacrosse did you play flag football or something i I don't know why i could run i could easily see you out there with the boys like throwing the football around running the no but (laughs) i definitely played in the powder puff game for sure Uh, there it is a powder puff game So now we know you're doing big things in your athletic side of your background, but you're also making waves and doing big things on the on off the court, right? Professionally, in a career aspect of this thing. You rocking it with the Memphis Grizzlies. Shout out to the Grizzlies because that that they have built it the right way. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, Corinne. I'm gonna forever be jealous of the Memphis Grizzlies because I'm a I'm a New Orleans Pelicans fan. We chose Ooh. Zion. We chose Zion. Yeah. And I was one yeah, of those people did. that wasn't in love with the pick at first. The media convinced me that this dude was a Greek god. He was the next, the next Shaquille O'Neal slash Charles Barkley slash Sean Kemp. And this dude has came out there and has been a, a has been a dud. And, and I hope his people see this because now he's trying to get out of New Orleans. So I'm just like, we blew a great opportunity. But Ja Morant. No, you get the opportunity to see this dude live in person all the time. I mean, so 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 like tell us what is what is the experience like, you know, being a not not just a Grizzlies fan, but working for the Grizzlies and being a part of the organization. It is absolutely electric, y'all. I mean, it helps that the Grizzlies have just blown up this year because they've been kind of slowly creeping up the past few years Facts. you know they kind of get a little better get a little better Facts. um obviously i was not really necessarily a grizzlies fan before this season but you know i kept up with john moran i kept up with you know jaron jackson jr they're big names i'm like all right you know yep. watching them whatever um but it is so fun so i work on the video production side of like the broadcast team so all the hype videos you see, all the recap videos you see, player interviews and stuff that come from the Grizzlies. That's what uh, my team does and I help with those. So it's cool because I get to kind of see a different side of the players sometimes yeah. instead of just them like, you know, John Moran, you know, just stealing a ball off the backboard like yep. in a game. That'd I get to crazy. see them actually. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I you think I would not be as surprised as I am, but I just continue to be amazed by all of them, truly. I actually just saw a stat today that said that the Anthony Melton, who is 
not even one of our starters. He comes off the bench. He just made like NBA history by he's like the first player who made like four back to back threes in like twelve minutes or like just something unreal. And I'm like, yeah. this is one of our bench players, y'all. Like, this dude ain't even a, uh, he ain't even one of the highlights, right? Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, so I actually like Memphis. We we stopped in Memphis one time. We ate some good barbecue. First off, the, the cracklings. Right. I don't know if if everybody know what a crackling is, but the cracklings out there are just absolutely amazing. The pork skins, whatever y'all want to call them, pork rinds. But uh, you know, downtown we were just we ate some uh, some some cookies. It was this little cookie shop oh that was gosh. oh it was so delicious. And then literally like part of the downtown area was like the FedEx Center. So it, it felt yeah. kind of small, but it felt it felt real. Like I, I love the environment. So now. How did you get plugged in with the Grizzlies? Because I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people watching this. They like, man, I would love to go work for for an NBA franchise or even an NFL franchise. But how did you get plugged in with the Grizzlies? Well, about four months before I graduated, which was in August of 2021, I did like a summer semester. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start applying to jobs uh, across the Southeast. I knew I wanted to kind of like stay in that area, like that Southeast area. Uh, I love baseball, I love basketball, I'm into football. Um, I know I would probably really like hockey if I got into it. And so I just was like, you know what? Like, let's get on LinkedIn, let's do some searching. Let's just apply, 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 whatever. I applied to a few places in Georgia. Um, and around like the summertime, around like July, I was interviewing for the job with the Grizzlies and I had applied um, to this job with the Georgia Swarm, which is Georgia's pro lacrosse team. I saw them. I seen that. Yep. Yep. And I, you know, was thinking to myself, because I was kind of, you know, getting to where I was, had been like through a few interviews with the Grizzlies, like probably like three or four at this time. And I was like, man, I'm, you know, getting kind of deep in this interview process. And I was like, you know, I feel really, really qualified for the Georgia Swarm job that I did apply for. Like, should I hold out for that? Like, do I really want to move myself six hours away? I was kind of torn. And so I, they ended up offering me the job. And so I accepted the Grizzlies job. And literally the next day, I got an email from the Georgia Swarm that said that they have filled the position. Hmm. And so I was like, all right, you know, looks like I'm moving to Memphis. Like, yeah. let's go. Hey, so so we got a little man trying to get on the show, huh? Let's see who, who, who we got here. Yeah. Oh, we got a cat. We got our cat. So now this is the second time we've had a pet into into the show. Yeah. We had a uh, 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 Andrea Carter brought her snake on the show. So now we got. Oh, that's we got, so cool. Yeah, we got the cat. So what's the cat's name? We got that's we got Cora. Cora. All right, welcome Cora. to welcome to the family, Cora. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, if anybody, she loves the camera. yeah, if they followed you, then they know you have a background in journalism as well, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. All right, that's so right. my question for you: If you could interview anyone, whether they were alive or or they passed away, who would it be and why? I would interview Michelle Beadle. Oh. She was a absolute trailblazer for yeah, women she in was. sports. She was one of the first women just period, like to even just host a show on national TV. And she so did. I would do anything and just sit down and talk with her and be like, how did you do it? Cause like even, like, obviously, women in sports have come a long, long way. You're seeing so many more now than you ever have before. But I think definitely Michelle Beadle. She, I just remember being younger and watching, like, ESPN Top 10 and, like, her just talking through it. And I'm like, well, that's cool. Like, how cool is that? Like, you have yeah. a woman on there. Yeah. Well, where is Michelle Beadle right now? Is she, is she still yeah. doing her thing? Because she, she is yeah, truly a pioneer. I, I have to give yeah, credit she for that. Is. Well, I think she's doing more podcast work because the broadcast side, you know, it's been some beef. But I will say this about her. During that Penn State uh, scandal, she made a comment about something. I responded to her and she hit me up in the DM and responded back. So shout out to you, Michelle. Hey, yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, shout out Michelle Beadle. <laughs> All right. So you said you played basketball, correct? Mm -hmm, I did. Okay. So this is a part of the show where I'm going to get in your business business a little bit. Okay. 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 All right. So you've seen the movie Love and Basketball. I know. Actually, I'm not. You haven't seen the movie Love and Basketball. Okay, so no. just go with me here. All right. Y'all, so, I'm the worst. I'm the worst at watching movies and TV shows. I'm sorry. Well, I'm just going to fly. I'll tell you right now. Because <laughs> my whole setup is off now that you, you haven't seen the movie. Oh, okay, okay. Anybody that's looking at your picture or they see you, they see you're a very attractive woman. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Is there someone in your life right now that, you know, do you have somebody that you're seeing? Not really. Not really. Is there a reason why? Is it because of work or are you just? Um, 
don't know. I guess I just, I just moved here like maybe five months ago. Uh, I just started my career. I just broke the top 10 in the nation yep. in my water pentathlon. You know, if you're not rocking with me, you're not rocking with me. You so, you, you know, exactly. Work. Like you either, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time like chasing anybody, trying to go get anybody. Like if you, you're either rocking with me or you're not. There so that's kind of what my mindset is right now. Cause like I got people, luckily I've, I'm very good at making friends. I'm very personable. I'm oh, very we outgoing. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. And so <laughs> like, it's not hard for me to make friends and meet people at all. Sometimes it's hard to put myself in those situations. Cause I'm like, well, I go to work, I go to the gym, I go home. Where else am I going to go kind of thing. But I break my way into those situations somehow, but yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of living right now. I'm, I'm figuring it out. This is my <laughs> first time um, living by myself. I'm, I moved, I lived in my parents' house all through college. Like I was lucky enough to commute to school, like save tons of money. So Did, we're just figuring it out. You don't think it has anything to do with the fact that you probably registered and have a firearm <laughs> and, uh, and the fact that you know how to use a sword very efficiently? <laughs> You don't think? <laughs> you know, okay, it, and, it might and, be a little bit of intimidation. Okay, maybe yeah, a little bit. And, and he probably can't bit. outrun you. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, <laughs> so <laughs> that was a good one. You, you might be right. You might be right. So let me ask you this, and then we'll move on to our championship rounds. Have All you right. had any athlete athletes slide in your DMs and try to you know holler at you? You know, I've, I've had I've had a few like my photos on Instagram and like watch my stories and stuff. But honestly, I don't think anybody slid. I don't think I've had anybody slid. OK, you don't have to tell us now. You can just tell us when we're off air. All right, BJ. All right, okay. Let's <laughs> save some of the juice for later. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. I, w- I would tell y'all if like I may not have told you who, but like I can't be telling you who's liking my pictures. But like, I don't think anybody slid, to be honest. OK, All okay right. go, back, go back and check. All right, B. Jones, I think it's time. <laughs> our championship rounds man all right ct welcome to the championship rounds this is the part of the show where all hell breaks loose kt and i go head 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 to head and you are now officially calling the shot so have you ever played a oh, game? oh yeah called, have you ever played a game called would you rather i have all right so the rules are very simple ladies and gentlemen both hosts will present to you an option you select one of those options that host will gain a point the first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this game's episode of this episode's game of championship rounds and for those of you who are just loyal to the family you you locked in with us kevin right now has a strong lead uh, well, no, it's a small lead. It's a small yeah, it's not strong. Yeah, it's a, it's a small lead of eleven to ten. But things had got real. He was real scary for him for a minute. But uh, he's got a one Never. game lead. It's it's, it's 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 eleven to ten. So Corinne, you could either stretch that lead for him, or you could actually tie this thing up. So this is a this is an important episode right now. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Here I'm we go, ready. Kev. You you won the last game, so you go first, sir. All right, CT, would you rather start a new podcast that become that's named the best show in the world for four straight years or or compete at the next Olympics in the modern pentathlon? I would compete at the next Olympics in the modern pentathlon. That is actually um, a goal of mine. Oh, so. I feel power coursing through my veins <laughs> right now when I get them right. Oh, Ah, you had to see that one coming. I mean, yeah, on. yeah, we, we, you know, we did, but you know what? You got to throw him a bone every now and then because he's a loser. All right. All right, go ahead. All right, round number two. Now, would you rather go to the future and meet your great, great, great grandkids, being able to observe the legacy that you left behind, or go back in the past and meet your ancestors to see where you came from? Definitely my ancestors, for sure. I. I love knowing where I came from. I love like that kind of, I love, I love just knowing exactly where I came from, to be honest. Um, I feel like if I went to the future, I would be so hyper-focused on like doing everything right whenever I like came back, you know what I mean? To make sure that happened again. Mm, I don't know if I'd like that. I'm going to give you credit for that one because everybody says the ancestors. I I don't know. I'm I'm looking for trailblazers out there. I'm looking for people that want to leave a legacy. But uh, you know what? Everybody. I don't want to know though. You know, I want I want to do it. I I could dig that. I I could dig that that point of view. Like you don't want to mess up anything because you'll start being hyper focused. I got you. I'm I'm a I'm a ride with that one. All right, round number three. 
and for it all. Would you rather become the broadcast director for your own sports network or or be a host on a ESPN nationally Ooh. syndicated show? Oh, y'all. Oh, that's tough. I think, I think, honestly, I think I'd go with producer um, because I would call the shots. And you know what? If I wanted to host it, I'm the producer. I can host it if I wanted to. Mm. So you you know you follow boxing and wrestling at all? A little bit, very very casually. But you know they have a championship belt though, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let me show you mine. Oh. Thanks to you, yes. it is uh... now twelve to ten. Thank you so much, CQ. So you turned down ESPN to start your own network? <laughs> yes, she yeah. did. Oh wow. I would. Well, y'all heard of ESPN, so y'all can look at me and y'all can bring them out to the side. Because <laughs> your future just turned you down over creator. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right, all right, Corinne. Well, the title of the show is called You Got Next. Of course, you know, everybody want to know what does the future hold? And for somebody like yourself who's doing it, who's doing elite things on the field, right, in your own sport, top 10 in the nation, but then you also progressing and doing things off the field, like, what does the future hold for you? You know, I've kind of been asking myself that question here recently. Um, a lot of it does is dictated by where my professional athletic career takes me. Um, like I said, I am working very, very hard to work my way up the ladder. Um, this year, I am on track to compete in my first international event. So I'll go from national competitor to, competitor to international competitor. Um, and I think a lot of that just depends on what kind of position I'm in. And that was a big thing for me when I was picking my job too, is I wanted like, for example, like the NBA, the off season, like the summertime. If I chose to go like with the MLB, that's like the on season, you know what I mean? So my opportunity to go compete, um, in foreign countries this summer might not have been a reality if I chose like a different sport. So I got very lucky um, getting a job in the NBA. And I would love, I, honestly, I really like the NBA. Well, I love basketball anyways. I'd be open to different sports. I'd be open to different teams. However, I've really started to fall in love with Memphis. Um, some people some people don't like it, but I think you just got to look for the good parts. You know, it's got to look for the beauty in it. Like you said earlier, it's like really small, but it's cute. Like it's a, it's a small town, it big was city. It was cold. Yes. The food is amazing. Oh, oh my amazing. gosh. Like, I don't know why it's so good, but it is literally so good. And of course, the Grizzlies. Like, let me tell you something. The people in Memphis, they are loyal. Yep. And they love their Grizzlies. And they will do anything for their Grizzlies. And that's something that I really admire. So I can all, I can I can see myself staying in Memphis for a little while, for sure. I'm, I might come out for there sure. and hang out with you because it was history, it was food, it was oh, energy, it's so it was cool. Bill Street, it was music, it was a it was a great scene out there. So I, I recommend anybody go kick it in Memphis. Yeah. That was they really was got something dope. for everybody. Plus, y'all got K Michelle and Yo Gotti. Yeah, you know. Oh, okay, Michelle, right. that's yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, she from Memphis. Yep, yep. There's a whole bunch. Money of bag. Money bag. That's right. Money bag. I, think I got time today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, they so grizzly fans. Those guys. Yeah, you sold me on K. Michelle. All right, CT. Besides Twitter, where can people find you on social media? Uh, I am definitely most active on Instagram. You can follow me at Corinne Tomp. Um, basically, my Twitter handle is without the number. Um, that's pretty much it for me. Twitter, Instagram. Twitter, I pretty much only tweet about sports. So nothing about my personal life. My personal life more is like Instagram. And see, that's how I found you then, because you're tweeting about sports. And I, I'm yeah. glad we clicked on it because you are super dope. All yeah, right, so super you, dope. Do you have any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to my family. Without them, I would not even be a fraction of where I am now. They're so supportive. They let me just play whatever sport I wanted to play. Whenever I came up with this crazy idea that I want to do pentathlon, they were like, all right, kind of weird, but sounds good. Uh, they just let me, they just let me run with it and look where it got me. I also want to shout out, and I always shout out Professor Conti at the University of North Georgia. She mentored me without her. No chance I'd ha I'd be in this job. No chance. Obviously, oh, yeah. you know, my friends too. We also got to give a shout out to your mom for allowing you to play with a gun. So, like, hey, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I was about to say, I do know how to, sh I do know how to shoot a gun. Yeah. However, in the pentathlon, 
It does not shoot any actual projectiles. It is a laser pistol. Really? Really? Yeah, for for the reason because the running and the shooting is a combined event. So, oh, so you're running around with the weapon in your yeah. hand. Well, you got to <laughs> run to a range where your weapon is sitting. So you can't just like, you know, leave just like oh, okay. loaded gun sitting around, you know. Yeah. There's a little accurate bit of there's laser. a little bit of safety involved. Yeah, yeah. How accurate is that laser though? See, I, 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 that would bother me if I missed and I felt like I was dead on. I mean, y'all, y'all want me to go get it? Hey, yeah. Let's see this thing. Let's see. Let's yeah. see what this gun oh, yeah. looks like. Here she is. Oh, wow. okay. I, I was thinking something bigger, like a rifle or something. Nah, it's like a, it's like a basically a giant laser pistol, like laser gun, laser yeah, pointer. Yeah, like a like a yeah, like a um, what do you call those? Like yeah. a laser tag gun. Uh -oh. Oh, hold on now. She didn't just take me out. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, CT. <laughs> All right. So, CT, this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call out the person who should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. I think you should do the same. With that said, CT, who would you nominate to be next on our You Got Next series? So, you know, I've been thinking about this since you all mentioned it when we were backstage. And I have a coworker whose name is Devin Walker. And he is a Memphis native who literally worked his way up and worked for the Grizzlies. He is a podcast like co-host now. And I think I think he would be a really, really cool person for y'all to interview. I think y'all y'all would rock with him big time. Y'all like his vibe for sure. All right, Devin, you are on the clock. But Corinne, we rocking with you big time. So yeah, you exactly. said earlier today, hey. those who are for me are for me. We rocking with you, little sis. We wishing you nothing but the best. You amazing. I, I, I hope one day I get to check out you perform in a pentathlon and uh, you keep your rise to success. And we, go, we got to have you back when you hit number one. When they when they finally say, hey, CT, number one in the nation, because I want to be able to gloat and say, we told y'all she had next. We told y'all. <laughs> yeah, but CT, you got next. Sports Life Talk Nation. <sighs> One more time. Oops. We did it again. We brought y'all pure heat. We brought y'all entertainment. We brought you an amazing story. So please, please, please show us some love. This is the point of the show. We're going to give you that opportunity one more time to smash that subscribe button. Come join us. Come rock with us. Come hang out with us Wednesday nights. We go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We stream on Twitter. <laughs> Got it right that time, KT. YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, the whole nine. We talk sports. We talk life. We talk tennis. We talk music, pop culture. It don't matter. It is a fun, fun, fun show. And also, when you see this, go jump on our IG page. We're giving away T-shirts to anybody that tags five friends into this post. It's just that simple. Just tag five people in and slide in our DM with your address and size. We're going to shoot you over a T-shirt because we are in the spirit of giving back. We understand how important it is for you to, to feel appreciated and to show us some love. So we want to do that. All right, KT. You I see you got the belt on. It, it'll be oh, coming home soon. You talking about this I, thing right here? No, it's okay. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start writing the part that part of the show with you so we can start evening out the odds a little bit. We can tell who's been producing that part of the segment. But uh but Kevin, I'll let you close us out, man. But I feel like you're taking shots at me and it was I, just I 100 percent I wish just I had a, I wish I had a laser pistol right here with me. Cause I'm so you would trigger. actually shoot me. With a laser pistol, yeah. Y'all wild. That doesn't do you not know the kind of damage that would do? To what? <laughs> I don't know. My my spirit. All right, CT. Thank you so much for <laughs> rocking with us. You are super dope. And I'm a little offended that B. Jones said, hey, I need to come down and rock with you at a game. And he didn't mention me. Nah, I'm so, going by myself, man. Nah, I'm just messing, man. We, we going. We going to Memphis game. So Y'all hey, should. Y'all no, should. We will be there. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, thank y'all for you, having me. Yeah, yeah, you got two big brothers here in Dallas. So like he said, you ever need something, holler at us. Oh, yep. let's go. All right. All right, CT. All right. Thank you for rocking with the Sports Life Talk Nation. We love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we are better. And keep dreaming big. You never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. She was crazy as I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. 
you need it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smash and goes. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, just a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Talking this, yeah, yeah, yeah.